We did a poll. You guys have asked for it. Here it is. The Copycat Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell is going down right now. If you followed my journey in the past, you know that I get very, very, very creative. I have struggled with this plenty of times and it's the first time we've ever done a copycat on anything. Because I don't like making stuff the same. I like creating my own spin. But this is kind of like near and dear to the heart. This was one of the very first things that I kind of like gravitated towards when it came to Taco Bell. I personally love it. I think it's a great combination for the idea of Taco Bell to drive down the road. In the Navy, we were always on the go. The last place we wanted to be was on base. You can't eat tacos and nachos driving down the road. When they launched this, I was like their biggest fan. I do have a small kicker. I don't really like the melted cheese in it. I would rather have the shredded cheese. So when I order it, I say, I say uh, no melted cheese and just give me the shredded cheese only. Never been a big fan. Today, we're gonna do it exactly the way we think it should be made and then I might put my twist on it. You ready? Yep. The flies are ready. I'm getting my chest workout in today. If you guys can see, my chest is getting a lot bigger. The, fly, <laughs> the flies are around and I gotta <laughs> swat them off. All right, we're bringing old Betty back out from retirement. The flat top of camp, or the camp chef is just coming right up to temperature. No rust, uh, what do you think, two months it's been? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. We have, we have three griddles now, so it's hard to like use them all. <laughs> Laziness is my kicker. All right. It is. He doesn't like moving them around. As you can tell, we don't even have sizzle yet. It's not a big deal. Flat top's coming up to temperature, and we're just going to let it do its thing, brown off the ground beef, and we're going to talk about this stuff right here. I do know they make Taco Bell cheese, and I do know they make Taco Bell sauce that comes out of the packet, or looks like it comes out of the packet. But our store that we went to, there's only one in the area that actually has this branded stuff, and they were out of that. So we got the Taco Bell seasoning, we got a little cheese sauce, we got this taco sauce, and just in case, if you're interested and you need like a hot sauce to go on top of it, we like to do it big around here. Matt sent me this in like a surprise box. He's a great subscriber. He's a great friend now. Um, he knew one time that I was out of my hot sauce. I love it. And so he went ahead and sent me the whole gallon bottle and we we're gonna do this bad boy justice. <laughs> All right, for the people that have the camp trap and struggle with the grease trap or the grease system, I just use a, a just a bamboo skewer. You can use a metal coat hanger or something like that. I just keep it underneath the flat top but this is what happens your food gets out in here and gets stuck and then your grease trough fills up with grease so i just take an old school bamboo skewer keep it going all the time it kind of like lodges the debris up and then allow the grease to flow a lot easier so just a little heads up all right this is an extremely simple cook there's nothing special around it about it brown your ground beef off really good all right i got two pounds of ground beef the pack says one pack per pound my quick math. <laughs> Woo, it smells good. Just add some water to it. This is going to help the seasoning adhere to that ground beef. You guys see all that grease leaving the ground beef? This is an easy way to drain that beef off if you're worried about all that beef fat. But remember, a lot of this fat is flavor. Did we say we're using 80-20? Did we say that? Uh, we just did. <laughs> right there when you said it. Uh-huh. Go and take that ground beef off when you're done. Just let it to the side, give you plenty of time to come back and clean your flat top. All right, here's the idea. I'm gonna warm up a tortilla, soft. You got a small tortilla and a large tortilla. You got these uh, tostadas here, right? So your tortilla needs to be about the same size as your tostada. This is gonna be the landing zone for all your ingredients. Pretty simple. Ooh, it's hot, it's hot. 
You're just trying to make it pliable. Now, I have seen people, instead of buying two sizes of tortillas, I have seen people just take their tostada and put it on top of the large tortilla and then cut it out. Yep, that's true. We eat these tortillas a lot, so we just have to have it on hand. Yep. All right, so the original. Just like that, thin layer. Boy, this is an easy video, honey. It is, simple ingredients, max flavor. I think that's why it's so popular. Plus it's a great item on the go. People say, why would you ever want to do a copycat Mexican recipe or Taco Bell recipe? Cause it's, it's not even, they don't like it or something like that. I'm like, man, they, they Taco sell. Be Taco Bell is a guilty pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> we don't go there often, but. When we do, it's like we have to break out a second mortgage. Because we haven't had it for so long, you want to try like all the new stuff, all the old stuff, yada, 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 yada. All right. Uh, we can go like this. A little tomato. And some shredded lettuce. Now, traditionally, this is it. Some say there's cheese on the top. That's not necessarily true. Just like this. That is your Crunchwrap Supreme in a nutshell right there. I'm gonna put it skin side down first to create that seal, just like that. All right, let's go make the one I want. The burrito, their tortillas are so soft, we probably don't need to do them. I, like I said, do not like the uh, liquid cheese, so we're gonna go out with a shredded cheese. If you guys seen my Mexican pizza, how I did everything completely different, this would be a great addition to add those smashed refried beans that you made from scratch. It's extremely tempting to uh, not overfill these, but got to be patient. Some lettuce. Tomato. I would take some, um, put a soft tortilla on there like that. No, we didn't do that one in the last one. We did not, because that was the original one. See how it covers the gap right there? Just like that. Same thing. A little bit of oil. This is probably ready to flip. It doesn't take long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take those refried beans that you just made from scratch, right? Put that on the bottom, add some cheese and that ground beef. I've reduced enchilada sauce before. I think it's incredible. It really intensifies the flavor. You can add that on like the bottom of your tortilla shell, flip it over, then add your sour cream. That's what I really wanted to do. And she said, absolutely not. This is about the copycat. So today we're copycatting. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna have both cheeses. So the first one only had the, the liquid cheese, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The second one had the shredded cheese because I'm a shredded cheese fan. This one is going to have both. Then we're gonna taste test and see which one we like. What do you think? Sounds good. You on board? I'm on board to have three Crunchwrap Supremes. Hey, diet starts next month. <sighs> Literally, because next month is Monday. Tuesday. <laughs> we, we joke and say that our diet starts Monday. We're usually on a diet on Monday and Tuesday, and then we get off of it, and then we say, okay, it's okay, diet starts Monday. All right, shredded cheese on top of that sour cream. Shred of lettuce, a little bit of diced tomato, and, because I feel like we should, just a touch of hot sauce, or taco sauce. You can add guacamole. You can add different types you of meats. Add, you could do like steak fajitas. You could do chicken, you could add salsa. The biggest thing is getting your tortilla warm, right? Coming back in here and folding it in a position where the seams overlap each other. Just like that.
try a little butter. Seam side down. Oh yeah. That one's ready. I don't know how easy it was for you guys to watch that, but it was incredibly easy on this end. It's one of the easiest things you could possibly do. Plus the amount of ingredients you could put in it is all up to you. So we're gonna cut into these, kind of recap them and see which one we like better. The very first one, original one, all cheese, and this had both cheese. Let's see. Looks good, babe. So this was all shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. This had both. All right, guys, there you go. Incredibly easy. We're about to chow down. See which one we like. All right, just recap. Original, the one that I typically like, just shredded cheese, and then the double cheese. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I need my dang hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. No difference. Tastes the same? Mm-hmm. Does it taste the same too? No. No? Because the cheese is less powerful and the meat is more prominent. Ironically, I like the double cheese better. I didn't like the, the yeah. It, it just, it, there's just more flavor. <clears throat> God, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> the ironic thing is, is how insanely similar this is. I mean, this is literally delivered at your door. I mean, this is, this is really cool. It's one of the first ones, like I said, we've ever done. Had a blast doing it. Just make it the way you like it. Hey, find us on the griddle group. What are you guys making? Taco is all the time, it seems like, on the griddle. But how are you making it? But thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Make something, enjoy it, man. This is fantastic. <laughs>